don't know why, but this one will not go down. It'll go down. Oh. Welcome to Bro Builds Garage. Today we're working on our trucks. We're gonna make them a little bit prettier. This is my buddy Brandon. He's, uh, as you can tell, a bit of a squatch nut. We both got new grills for our truck. Let's get them installed. Let's do it. Hey guys, check out the shirt. Representing. It's, a, it's actually a really comfy shirt. I love it. <laughs> Nothing but the best That's for right. the bros. That's right. So first thing to do is, of course, uninstall the stock grill. Brandon says it's really easy. Super simple. So there's one, two, three, four bolts that we just gotta take off. And then these will just pop right in into place or pop right off when we take Ryan's grill off. Really simple. Literally less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. All right. Brandon told me if he breaks this, he's gonna buy me a whole new truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Of course, no project would be complete without at least one thing being overly difficult. This darn shroud felt like it was glued on there and made disassembly take more than the alleged five minutes. But eventually, we got it off. Got that one. Nope, it broke. Oh no. It literally snapped in half, that's crazy. Whoa. It was so stuck on there. It's all good. I well, I might be able to just push that back on. Yeah, probably. So Brandon, what I have here is an American truck. <laughs> is it standard or metric bolt? Uh, this one is a 10. <sighs> so, sorry, buddy. What's up, dude? Hey, you want to be in a Bro Builds Garage video? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Good. How are you? So, we're basically going to... So, it should just kind of pop up. You can lift it up. just a little bit, and then it just pull, and it should pop kind of right off. It's going to be a little snug. Now, granted, with everything else that was... <laughs> right. Nice. Bada bing, baby. So it's that easy to remove the grill from your Ram uh, 2500, 3500. Good old Cummins straight six, best motor ever. Best motor ever. I will not go to anything else. I will not drive a Power Stroke or a Duramax. Cummins all the way. The only thing I would consider if it had a higher towing capacity is the uh, TRX, because those TRXs are so sweet. So sick. Can't argue with the Hellcat. I'm sure you guys can tell we're not in my shop today. We're here at Squatch Nut Central at uh, Brandon's place. So Brandon is the founder of the Squatch Nut community. You want to tell him a little bit about it? Yeah, so Squatch Nut is something that has been a passion of mine for almost 16 years. And what it is, is actually a website where we have anything and everything Sasquatch apparel. So we got hats and hoods shirts, cell phone cases, I mean, you name it, we got it. Uh, swim trunks, I believe. Swim trunks, <laughs> absolutely. It's something that anybody and everybody who is just fascinated with Sasquatch or you're nuts about a Sasquatch, you're a Squatch Nut. And we wanted to build a family, a community. Um, we just wanted to, to go out there and, and do something really fun with something that's super iconic. Make sure you guys go check them out at SquatchNut.com. This is a T-Rex grill, um, not sponsored or anything, but in case you're wondering what it is. So the grill came with this C-bracket, which is gonna mount to the bumper, and then the grill will mount to the C-bracket just like that. There's pre-drilled holes in the backside of the bumper. It's just gonna mount on there like that with all of that hardware right there. So I'm just gonna reach up under here and slide the bolts through those holes, which is probably gonna be nearly impossible for you guys to see, but. There's the bolt, and then the spacer can just hang out on there. You guys might be able to tell this bracket has a little bit of an angle. The instructions don't tell you at all which way they're gonna go. We decided we're gonna mount it this way. Hopefully it's correct. If it's not correct, then we'll have to go back and redo it, but we're just gonna hope for the best. Because that's what we do. We're bros, not pros. 
And then you got a lock washer and a nut to secure it all on there. So there's a lot of side to side play here. I'm just gonna get it centered, like perfectly centered and hope that's gonna be right. But there's these little threaded clip nuts that are gonna um, hold the screws on. And those just pop on the brackets, just like that. The last prepping thing to do is getting these little plastic clips on here. They just pop right on, got one on this side, got one on this side, and now I'm ready to install the new grill. Moment of truth, baby. Excited. The whole thing is uh, like this isn't. It's like the whole thing is. I don't know if the grill was tweaked a little bit during shipping, but we had to do a bit of finagling to get it to fit. It wasn't too difficult, but Brandon did have to twist the passenger side lower mount with a pair of pliers to get it to really settle in. Overall, it's a really good fit, but like any DIY project, there's a little bit of problem solving involved. So this whole thing's just a little off. This one just isn't lined up at all. This one is, oh, that one, that one's close, but it'll be all right. So for whatever reason, only one of these holes is lined up, but I think just getting the one installed is gonna be perfectly fine. Just go in here and, Come on, sweet. And that, I mean, realistically, we probably don't need either one of those. That's, that's, that's solid. Uh, the other thing that happened, and I blame the, uh, the packaging, some of these are kind of bent. So once we get it completely installed, I'm gonna go through, unbend that. All I can say is it's looking really, really sharp. And the fit is, I mean, you can't get any closer. Yeah, that's that's super good. So, so despite good. despite the little oddities, it's a good grill. We're gonna see what it looks like with the hood closed. See if these are bent on purpose or on accident. Oh, uh, it's not on purpose. They're, they should be higher. So figure out how we can unbend those and then this part. But overall, you guys, this looks amazing. And then the last thing to do is gonna be to put on this ultimate collab emblem. It's the Bro Builds logo, you know, the bro hat and the beard, and then the Sasquatch holding an AR. And it's gonna go somewhere right about there. And then this is the emblem going on Brandon's truck. These were both made by Jason over at Smoke Ranch CNC in Boise. If you guys are in the Treasure Valley, Boise area, go check him out. He does amazing work. These things are awesome. Brandon just got that one fixed for the most part. It's got a little bit of a whoop de woo but you know what? I'll probably never notice it again, so I don't really care. So this is what he did. Uh, just screwdriver with the towel and basically just lifted it up. Uh, that's like perfect. Yeah, that's great. And then uh, that corner, I think that, I think that one's good. I don't, Yeah, I think. This oh, one's... you know what? They're all bent a little bit, aren't they? Come on, T-Rex. Yeah. Get better, uh, get better packaging. Uh, it looks better. The next one, I think, yeah, 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 there we go. All right. That looks good. I don't know why, but this one will not go down. It'll go down, just watch. Oh, T-Rex, come on. T-Rex. Since that popped down, we uh, braced the bottom with this screwdriver and hopefully it'll be okay now. Man, it's bending that up. Yeah, it's not even, I wonder, can you hold it? Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go. That looks good. better. Yeah, that looks way better. That's the broken one. Yeah, I should be able to get some of it in there though. Oh, there you go, that's on it. There you go. 
Boom. So the T-Rex grill did have holes. They're a little bit off, but you know what? They worked. Yeah, boom. Done. Centered and straight. I think it's good. Eh? Oh yeah, that's solid. Bro squash, baby! So you guys are welcome to comment with your thoughts on how this looks. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care because I like it. <laughs> and it's my truck, so that's all that matters! Man, that just looks amazing. And yeah, you guys, how about that bro squash logo? That is so cool. It's time to do Brandon's, which we're both really excited about, but you know what? It's the exact same process. His is gonna be even easier to install because it's a modified stock grill. So let's just get it on there. <laughs> All my clips are broken. The only thing that was holding it on were the four screws up top. Brandon already did all the work on this grill. Took me a day and a half. A day and a half of joy and happiness. <laughs> no, no, no. A lot of choice words. And like that, the done. grill's installed. All done. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. Those are literally the exact lights I want. You're gonna wake up one morning- And they're gonna be gone. And you're gonna have silver lights in there <laughs> instead of black. I had silver in there before. I don't want them. I wanted the black ones. <laughs> that was so much easier than mine. <laughs> well, granted, that literally took me a day and a half to do. I'm not even joking. This whole thing came in two pieces. So this grill right here, is that grill. That you have to take out the inserts and then you gotta cut everything out for that to pop out. Then you gotta take those two pieces that come with this grill, because this is a rough country get grill. This is the inner piece, the mesh stuff. This is the outer piece. Every single one of these are real rivets. And then I had to go in and measure it I can tell, but probably a lot of people can't tell. I did mismeasure and I was- If we get really close here- You can see. You can see a little bit of a gap, but we won't get close. We'll stand back here. That's right. Oh yeah. Boom. It was snowing out there. Dude, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. so good. Okay, so now that it's on there, the job is done. Do you wish you would have gotten one complete grill, or are you happy with this? In retrospect, I'm really happy with this. Because, I mean, granted, a real full grill, to have this completely done for you, 500 bucks, $120 for that. So, put That's that in awesome. perspective. And that Squatch Nut logo, man, that pops on the black grill. That looks awesome. It looks really good. Okay, we're not quite done yet. We're out here over at my shop now, and I just couldn't stop thinking about something. I really wanna replace my headlights. These chrome looking headlights just aren't gonna do with the black grill. So everything that Brandon and I did, I already undid. Um, I took the grill off and we're ready to remove the stock headlights. These are my new headlights and I am super excited about them. I love the black look to go with the black grill. It's gonna look awesome. I got these on Amazon. I already put in some LED headlights. I will link everything down in the description that I'm using, the grill, the headlights, the LED lights I put in there. What do you think, Brandon? Are they gonna look good? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous. I made you the offer that I would trade you my OEM black ones for these. I kind of wish you would have took me up on it. <laughs> hey, I'm actually wearing a uh, Squatch Nut hat today. This thing's pretty sweet, huh? Oh yeah, thanks man. <laughs> Beginning. Broke that clip. Brandon says it doesn't matter, so if he says it doesn't matter, then I'm good with it. Yeah, both mine are broke, so. <laughs> and your headlights haven't fallen out yet. Mm-mm. So now we just gotta unplug. Bada bing, baby. That's it. Boom. I checked the pins with the stock one. They look identical. So this should just plug right in. There we go. Nice snug fit. The LED lights I installed did say, if the light doesn't work, to flip the wires around. So before I screw it in, uh, I'm gonna go turn the lights on and make sure they're correct. There you go. Uh, yeah. That one's on. That's just your low. 
you have your high? Yeah. Oh man, that's so bright. Holy cow, can you see that? You get down to the right level. Oh my god. Yeah, I blind <laughs> you, buddy. I, yeah. There you go. Look yeah, that. baby. That looks so good, man. Oh, look at them oh. brights. I'm gonna have, oh. You sure you don't want to trade? So, that's disappointing. I thought the DRLs would run all the time. Um, I'll look into it and see if I can figure out a way to make that work. But for now, I'm super happy. Before, after. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need a little manpower to get that in there. That was my turbo booster. <laughs> Can't have a diesel without a turbo. In case your dad didn't teach you, you always want to start it by hand first before using a tool. So you don't cross thread it. I'll be your dad. <laughs> or your bro. Bro dad. That's weird. <laughs> Brandon, thank you for finding those headlights for me. I'm so stoked about them. You're so welcome. They look really good. Next one? Let's do the next one. There you go, it's done. We got a little problem. I got my hazards on, as you can see. But on this side, no DRLs and no turn signal. So we're gonna take it back apart and see what we can find. Brandon fixed it, it wasn't defective. We just didn't have the wiring pushed on all the way. <laughs> just had to jiggle it. So but. if you're having a problem, just jiggle it. Just jiggle it. <laughs> now before we, well, you can slide it back in, but I'm gonna um, turn the lights on. Yep, go and for it. Make sure those DRLs are working. Go for it. Boom, you're good. Boom? You're good. Boom is good. I like boom. Oh man, I'm so glad. It wasn't a defect. I'm glad Just it was a defect. Defective installation. <laughs> That's what happens when you get uh, two bros, not pros doing it. That is exactly right. Another thing that I think is well designed about these lights, you can adjust the beam and it uses the stock adjustment hole right here, the front one. You just put a Phillips in there and you can adjust it. I will adjust them tonight when it gets dark because I hate blinding people in my truck. Well, I'll tell you what, I am super happy with how my truck turned out. You happy with yours, Brandon? I'm actually really happy. Again, thank you so much for your help. Couldn't have yeah, done it without you. Absolutely. Honestly, guys, I hope that we have inspired you to go out and work on your truck or car or whatever you have. You don't have to be a pro. You can just be bros like us and you can get the job done. You might break something along the way, <laughs> but it'll be all right. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. And don't forget to go check out squatchnut.com.